hi everybody and welcome back to a new vlog um today i am going to the cotswold wool festival it is the first ever cotswold wool festival um which is really exciting and um, it's hopefully going to be an annual event from now on um so yeah, I've been really looking forward to this since um, I found out about it earlier this year. And um, there's a few of my friends going um, that I've only ever spoken to online, so it should be really nice to meet people, you know, like from Instagram. It's also a bit like, oh, hello, I recognise you, so hopefully it won't be too weird. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd take you along with me to see... Um, what it's like and then i will do <laughs> pearl's coming to it's a it's a dog friendly venue um, i will do a little um video at the end of things that i buy if i buy anything which i mean if i buy anything i will buy stuff because like james is there from james makes yarn and things like that who i've wanted to buy stuff from for ages so yeah really looking forward to that so yeah um i shall take you along with me Wear a hat, sometimes play chess And when I'm out I'm looking for that vintage flame But all complexions that I adore So hard to find, they seem impossible to score So I dream of To someday find that vintage love from the Cotswold Wool Festival, uh, Cotswold Wool Weekend even, um, and I had an absolutely fantastic time. It was so lovely. Um, I got to see loads of people, as I said earlier um, in the vlog, that I was hoping to see that um, I know from Instagram. Got to meet them in person, people who are like really local to me, um, which is really nice because now it's sort of like, oh great, we can actually meet up for coffee because it's always a bit weird like that first time isn't it um but it was so lovely um so yeah i met james and matt from james makes yarn 
um i met louise who is um the owner of the cotswold wool company and also the organizer of cotswold wool weekend um absolute powerhouse <laughs> organized the whole weekend single-handedly um i'm really excited because i think next year um i'm gonna get a lot more involved with it um so i'm really looking forward to that and then I also met Vicky from Knitter's Cottage, who I've spoken about before, who um, produced yarn from um, sheep that literally live just like in the field next to my house. Um, and I've bought her four ply before. Um, so she was sharing a stall with, um, I think she's called By the Hedgerow, who's another local person, a small holder who has a flock of sheep and beehives and produces her own products and stuff. It was just so lovely to have that really like local connection. And it was such an interesting um like festival because it was very much focused on wool rather than just yarn it's not necessarily a yarn festival although obviously there's a lot of yarn there <laughs> um there was lots of wool products as well things like um you know pelts like sheepskin rugs and uh weaving and yeah all that kind of amazing stuff and it was held in sirencester which if you don't know was basically one of the big bases of the wool trade um i mean for hundreds and hundreds of years i mean harking back to like the roman times um it's been a major place for the wool trade um so it had all that really interesting history and the venue uh the corn hall it's obviously an old marketplace um you know being called the corn hall <laughs> if you're not based in the uk we have a lot of um like in our uh, old ancient towns and cities we have places often called like the corn market or the corn hall or wherever which is you know where you would have got your corn back in the day um to make your bread and things like that so it's basically where the markets have been held for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years um so yeah it was a beautiful venue beautiful historic venue really interesting so it had such a sort of historic side to it as um a festival which i really really liked um and i think um that worked really really well so yeah i'm gonna i think next year um as i say i'm gonna get a bit more involved and um, talk to louise um about like what i might be able to do she's keen for me to get involved as a local knitter and a local um like you know youtuber etc so yeah um i am wearing by the way my latest make which i will pop in a clip of me um i did a little like outfit um this morning before we left for the festival of um what i was wearing because i just finished this um this is a tilly and the buttons mabel dress which is their latest pattern drop and i've made it in this lovely um strawberry print viscose from rainbow fabrics kill rainbow fabrics kilburn which is um a dead stock fabrics stockist so they go to like turkey and they pick up all the sort of dead stock rolls from you know all different brands i think they've had like nobody's child and stuff before um so yeah absolutely loving this um so i thought i would show you what i bought um i bought quite a few bits as per usual when i go to a wool festival or a yarn festival or fabric festival there are no more now until september and october so like <laughs> obviously like a few weeks ago i shared my stitch festival where i bought a load of fabric and a few weeks before that i shared my unravel festival where i bought a load of yarn so like yeah i am on a yarn fabric ban for a little bit um, whilst i work my way through all of this um so let's start with james um james's yarn so as i say i've been wanting to um meet james and buy some of his yarn for a really long time so i was really excited that he was going to be there um he does the most amazing you'll see from these all oh, the, the bands come off this one but he does the most amazing beautiful brightly colored yarns um often quite sort of like um vintage inspired or like retro inspired so i think his um advent calendar this year is like flower power like sort of 70s like late 60s 70s and he's done like a taylor swift collection um but for me um because i'm a total oldie <laughs> who listens to jazz music and um watches murder mysteries and drinks hot chocolate from teacups and saucers um i don't know much about that kind of stuff like don't listen to taylor swift etc so to me i just thought they looked like monet paintings <laughs> um which i absolutely love i'm a big fan of monet and the pastels and i just love the sort of like um sort of splattered colors throughout it's really pretty um so yeah i got these two so i've got this lovely like deeper um 
purple yeah purple bluey shade which is called delicate and then i got the lavender haze remix um i don't think he's got anything on his shop at the moment online because he's done the festival but he might put some up so if he has i'll i'll link them but i'll link his shop anyway um but yeah really excited for these and um, they're sock yarns four ply so um 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon so standard sock yarn so I'm gonna make myself some socks funnily enough <laughs> um, I'm thinking I'm gonna make myself some knee-high socks with these two which I know sounds a bit bananas but um, the sock pattern that I use I only ever use about 50 grams of um, yarn for it so I've always thought gosh I could make them longer and we're going to Germany in December so it's going to be quite cold and also you know it gets quite cold here as well and I'm just my legs are always freezing I don't understand how people wear jeans in the winter and don't freeze to death without like I have like a coat that goes all the way down to my ankles because otherwise I am literally freezing um so my thought is if I make some knee-high socks and I've got these lovely woolly socks like all the way up to my knees underneath my trousers and then my coat down to my knees and hopefully I will be warm <laughs> because I'm always so so cold so yeah that was my thought with these that this is such gorgeously soft yarn obviously if I walked around with knee-high socks I might look a bit bonkers but no one's gonna see because it's gonna be underneath my jeans or underneath my trousers then I'm gonna make myself some wool trousers as well actually to take with me because those will be quite warm but yeah anyway sock yarns um absolutely love those okay so the next yarns i got yarns <laughs> the next thing i got um i think it's well it's a new to me brand but i think it's also like a fairly new brand from what i heard i put in a little clip from um the lady um well there was multiple people there from the same family who run this farm so you may have seen her talking about this earlier in the video but they are the chilton uh wensleydales um is that what the brand is called Chilton Wensleydales yeah they're called Chilton Wen Wensleydales um so this is from a farm actually not too far from where we used to live we used to live in a place called Wheatley in um East Oxfordshire right on the border of Buckinghamshire and um these guys are literally just down the road from there um which is really cool near the Chilterns which is where we used to go walking quite a bit so they have got a flock of Wensleydale sheep um which are the ones that have like really curly like fleeces um very cool looking sheep um and they had yeah it's such an interesting story like i was chatting to them loads because um you know i'm always obviously looking for like stories um you know because i'm obviously a craft writer i write about sewing and knitting and, and yarn and stuff um so it was really interesting to chat to them and um, they have an airbnb on their farm as well so i'm really tempted to go and stay <laughs> and meet the sheep <laughs> um but oh my word did they have the most gorgeous colors so as i say i think i got a shot earlier in the video i'll just pop it back in here of the color ways that they've brought out they are stunning and i couldn't decide which colorway to go for because i wanted to buy a skein to like have a swatch up with it see how it knits because it's not um the cheapest obviously it's like um priced accordingly so i wanted to like try it out first before i bought like 200 pounds worth of <laughs> sweater quantity of yarn um so i bought their dk which is um it's their dk tweed hand dyed um it's 180 meters per skein and i bought it in the gorgeous green colorway and also a lovely deep red burgundy it's not quite burgundy i think it's like a deep red um colorway which this one's called dogwood i don't actually know what this one's called because it doesn't have a label on it i can't remember um but yeah really lovely very like sort of traditional wool feel um you know if you're very like anti having a little bit of kind of like scratch to your wool this probably isn't the one for you but if you held it with mohair i think it'd be a um quite a lot softer if you wanted to do that personally for me i don't have an issue with that um these jumpers tend to be worn with long sleeve tops underneath or long sleeve dresses underneath so it's never normally that much against my skin other than on my neck um but yeah really love these so i'm not sure what i'm gonna do i don't know whether to like swatch up or i might make some nice woolly socks or like a hat or something because it's probably just enough for some kind of accessory um but i just really love the colors and as i say i really love the story behind um the brand and behind the sheep um so yeah i'll link them below if you want to go and check them out okay and then my big purchase of the day was some of my friend vicky's yarn um so vicky runs knitter's cottage which as i said is um local to me um she lives like 15 minutes away from me <laughs> she has her own flock of sheep now but when she produced this yarn it was from a flock um right next to my house 
so I found her on um in my local yarn store she was um some of her yarns were being sold in my local yarn store in Chipping Norton and um then I found her on Instagram via that and then we started chatting and yeah basically have um, become friends <laughs> which is really nice and it was so lovely to actually meet her in person she was there sharing a store because she's just had um a little baby boy he was there too he's three weeks old he's so sweet um what an absolute cutie um in hand knits as well like full hand knit outfit I was like oh dream um, uh, so yeah she was sharing a stall um which was really nice um with yeah by the hedge just checking on the label by the hedge um so yeah that was lovely so anyway I picked up some of her more of her yarn because I've been knitting with her four ply and it's absolutely gorgeous it's Romney um lamb's wool and I've been putting it in a scarf and it's really nice it's got a lovely crinkle to it and I wanted to try the DK the DK doesn't have quite the same crinkle to it but I think that's going to be better anyway because um you know I'm, I'm going to use it I think for some kind of cable knit jumper probably a petite knit pattern like a really traditional because it's undyed um you know sheepy <laughs> sheepy woolly um cable knit jumper so as I say like really classic comfy cozy perfect for winter perfect for our trip to Germany um so yeah I'm so pleased with that so I bought a sweater quantity of that yarn um and it's just lovely it's so it's actually so so soft it's really it's going to be really really nice to wear um so at the moment um I can't actually remember what either of the patterns are called that I'm looking at but they're petite knit <laughs> sorry that's not very helpful um but yeah I am so excited to start knitting with this I'm probably going to start knitting over the summer because um I'm knitting on a cardigan at the moment I'm probably going to do a knit and chat chat soon and share some like what I'm up to and what my plans are and stuff but yeah I'm knitting on a cardigan at the moment I have a summer knit that I finished last year that I want to like edit because <laughs> it's too short um I then may fit in one more summer knit but I'm not sure I'm tempted to just move on to autumn winter knits because I always start too late and then I never get like what I want done because there's pieces missing in my wardrobe I really need to like fill slots so this is going to fill a slot a really nice high quality very warm cream wool cable knit jumper so I am so excited for that and then the last thing I picked up was from By The Hedge. Um, it's called A Mindful Moment, which I thought was just such a sweet idea. So as I said earlier, she has her own, I was going to say flock then, that's not right, her own hive of bees um, and uh, makes like beeswax products and honey products and stuff. Oh, these smell amazing. So these literally smell of honey. They're incredible. So they're just like two little candles and this little holder the idea is that they take about 15 minutes to burn and you just literally like pop it in there and you have a little mindful moment you just set it up for 15 minutes you just watch the candle burn you enjoy the smells you just like live in the moment which i thought was such a gorgeous idea like what a lovely thing um pearl is knocking on the door apologies pearl no 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 no. i'm blocking on the floor and pearl keeps coming in and standing on it <laughs> hi darling i think because i'm talking she thinks somebody's in here just me why don't you get on the bed sweetie oh no okay she's gonna squeeze in oh great Pearl just stood all over my um freshly blocked jumper um yeah <laughs> anyway I was just saying that I thought that was a lovely thing from by the hedge um and I'm definitely gonna be like I follow her on Instagram I find her story really interesting um so it was really nice to sort of meet her and see some of her products as well um so yeah that's everything I have to show you from the Cotswold Wool Weekend it was so fantastic please come next year the next one is going to be autumn 2024 put it in your diaries come to Sirencester I am actually tempted to like make a whole weekend of it and stay in Sirencester because I've never been to Sirencester before and actually it is gorgeous and I would love to go and stay there for the weekend so I am tempted to make a full weekend of it in 2024 that's obviously a long way away <laughs> but that is the plan um so yeah i hope you enjoyed the vlog i hope you enjoyed watching um if you did give this video a like um leave me a comment about any yarny woolly shopping you've been doing lately um and yeah make sure you subscribe for the next video um i will see you next time guys thanks bye